George Washington, April 30, 1789 March 4, 1797. No party. The first U.S. President. Washington served two terms. An American war general in the American Revolutionary War. As chief of the executive branch and head of the federal government, the presidency is the highest political office in the United States by influence and recognition. John Adams, March 4, 1797 March 4, 1801 Federalist The second president of the United States was a man who resided in New England and was a prominent attorney and politician from Boston. Adams was extensively educated with Enlightenment ideas and Republicanism. A key founding father of the U.S. Thomas Jefferson, March 4, 1801 March 1809 Democratic Republican The third President of the United States was one of the contributing writers of the Declaration of Independence. As a founding father, Jefferson wished that America would become an empire of liberty, representing the ideals of republicanism. James Madison, March 4, 1809 March 4, 1817 Democratic Republican Madison is revered as the father of the Constitution and the writer of the U.S. Bill of Rights. The U.S. Constitution is considered the most important political document ever written. It would become the model by which constitutions later written in other countries would follow. James Monroe, March 4, 1817 March 4, 1825 Democratic Republican the fifth president of the U.S. and the last who was a founding father. He would also be the last of presidents from the Virginia dynasty. Monroe was well regarded for the Monroe Doctrine in 1823 which asserted that the U.S. would no longer allow European intervention in the Americas. John Quincy Adams, March 4, 1825 March 4, 1829 Democratic Republican, National Republican John Quincy Adams was the son of John Adams and Abigail Adams. As an American diplomat he served both Senate and House of Representatives. Adams' presidency was not nearly as effective as the 17 years he later served as an elected U.S. representative of Massachusetts. He and his wife, Abigail, were both strongly opposed to slavery during their time. Andrew Jackson, March 4, 1829 March 4, 1837 Democratic Jackson was an army general and politician before becoming a U.S. president. During the Revolutionary War, when he was 13, he received a sword cut for refusing to clean a British officer's shoes. Jackson was also known as Old Hickory for his aggressive character. Jackson's policies established what was known as Jacksonian democracy which opposed government monopoly. Despite being a protector of popular democracy, he also owned slaves and supported slavery and Indian removal. Martin Van Buren, March 4, 1837 March 4, 1841 Democratic Van Buren was the first president born as a United States citizen since the American Revolution. For a while he was Andrew Jackson's Secretary of State and Vice President and was therefore an essential individual in the development of Jacksonian democracy. He was in office during an economic hardship, the Panic of 1837. For this he was often blamed and was named Martin Van Ruin by political opponents. William Henry Harrison, March 4, 1841 April 4, 1841. Whig. Harrison was the first president to die in office. He died after 31 days in office due to pneumonia, making his tenure the briefest in the U.S. presidential history. This event led to many questions about presidential succession that was not answered by the Constitution until the inclusion of the 25th Amendment. John Tyler, April 4, 1841 March 4, 1845 Whig, then no party after the passing of President William Henry Harrison, John Tyler, his vice president took the oath. This succession would figure future successions and became scripted in the 25th Amendment. 
Tyler had been a Democratic Republican before joining Harrison's campaign. While in office he opposed and vetoed many Whig Party proposals, resulting in the resignation of most of his cabinet and him being expelled from his party.